Hello lovebugs, today I have a chit chat get ready with me as promised in my recent MAC wash and dry haul. I said that I would be showing you how I put these on the face and so here is that video. And I was just going to have it be like a basic sit down get ready with me just going through my makeup um, but at a more casual speed you know and then I just realized I had some things I wanted to talk to you guys about so it kind of turned into like a chatty get ready with me so I hope you guys don't mind. Ooh, got an eyelash. If you have not already seen the haul, it's linked down below for you guys. And yeah, I hope you like the look and let's get into it. That looks not complete. Thank y'all. What? Is it tank y'all? If you were not so out of regs, I call you in here to say hi to them. I'll take off my pants. You cannot take off your pants. I'm fully naked. This is not that kind of channel. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I know the brows are looking a tiny bit thick and a little bit harsh, but it's just because I have no other makeup on aside from foundation and my brows. I'm actually going to get started on eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar number dos for this just because I didn't get any of the eyeshadows from this collection. And I really don't want to do a whole heck of a lot. I'm just going to take the shade Peanut Butter. I'm going to use a fluffy brush for this and I'm just going to pop that right into the crease. I was going to do kind of like a full face get ready with me today and then my UPS man still was not here at like 3 o'clock and I was thinking it's going to get so late if I do my brows, my foundation, everything on camera that I just went ahead and I did my foundation and my brows and waited until he got here and it's like 5 o'clock and he just brought all of this so um, I just wanted to still have natural daylight because I like to do swatches for new collections when I can in natural daylight so that is why my foundation and my brows were done off camera and I know some people don't like that so I apologize. Now that that is on I'm going to take the shade Butter Pecan and this is a really beautiful shimmery like peachy gold and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. Also um, I I think you won't be able to hear anything, but if you hear a noise from time to time, my house is just a tiny bit noisy right now. Um, Maka is not feeling well, and it's nothing serious. I've taken her to the vet. The vet says everything is fine. Um, there's like a reason why she's acting weird, but she needs consoling right now. Like she's just. I don't know, she gets kind of needy sometimes. We'll keep the lower lash line nice and simple and just use peanut butter. Just place that right underneath that lash line. If I could wear this look every single day of my life, I probably would. I just, I love warm eye looks. Going to just blend that out. I wasn't expecting this to become like a chatty get ready with me, but I think it's going to because I just have a lot to catch you guys up on. On the inner corner, we're just going to take a tiny bit of butter pecan and just put that right on in there. This is the same shade we used all over the eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and apply some dark brown liner. This one is from Jordana. So for this look, I got mostly cheek and lip products from this collection, so the eyes are just going to stay pretty simple. I'll do like lashes and stuff later. Um, but I just opened up the first product. I actually have not looked at any of this yet. This is the Matte Bronze Bronzing Powder, and this is my NYC Sunny Bronzer. So you can see this one's quite dark, and I'm not really fake tan right now. Because I just sort of feel like that bronzer might turn out a tiny bit too dark, I'm going to actually bronze my skin first with Sunny and then use Matte Bronze as an actual contour. So just using a tiny bit of this on a fluffy brush, I'll go ahead and zoom you guys out. So when you're watching this, and I love filming Get Ready With Me's when you guys are going to see them pretty soon, which is the case with this one. I'm filming it on Friday and you're going to see it um, next Wednesday, I think. Should be anyways. I just got news from my dad that's really exciting. Um, there were some things going on at home. Um, you guys kind of know I went home and some stuff was going on that was kind of scary with my dad's like health and stuff and he found out today that everything is good. Um, the medicine worked and he was able to take out the pick line he had in for like a month. So now I'm going to take matte bronze and just use that to contour and I think that this will just be a bit more natural um, than just putting this really dark bronzer all over the face. So just going to place that right under the cheekbones. 
It's actually not really that pigmented, um, which for a bronzer is not a bad thing. Sometimes they're so pigmented it's like really hard to blend them out. No, this is actually a really great color. I really like this. I'm going to also take some of that under the jaw. So, matte bronze is gorgeous. I really love how that looks. I know it's not 100% blended. Usually I like to put on my blush and then sort of blend with the blush brush as well. And the blush I got from this collection is called Hypnus. And this is just really super bright pink. You guys really getting the full color? Yeah, there you go. It is like a bright, bright coral pink. Oh, that's super pretty. I love that. Oh my gosh. I really, really like this. It's honestly not, again, it's not crazy pigmented. And I prefer that with, um, you know, like face products. I don't want them to be crazy bright or crazy pigmented for the most part. It just, it gives off a nice color and it's not sheer, but it's just, it's nice. And it also has the tiniest bit of sheen to it, like a baby bit. So the reason I was telling you guys about um, my dad getting his pick line out is I surprised him today and I told him I had been planning this for a while but I wasn't 100% sure it was going to work out. And then today when he told me that, I was just like, okay, that's it, I'm doing this. Um, and I'm super excited. I'm going to take my dad and my little brother to Disney World in Orlando this summer. And I officially told them today. And I just, uh, I'm so excited. I Honestly, that blush, though, I really like this color. People were honestly not that excited for this collection on, like, Twitter and stuff, and I don't understand why, because I think it's so summery and so fresh. I like the product so far. I'm also going to use the shade Freshen Up, and this is a highlight powder, so it's not, like, a mineralized skin finish. It's an actual highlight powder. And what I'm going to do is take the more golden section of this. You could really and truly use this as a, like, super glowy blush, but I really want to use it as a highlight. Oh, it looks like the gold spray on top is really, do you see this? It actually looks like there's a bit of an overspray. I just realized there was actually an overspray on this, so it's like three colors in this little palette. I usually really don't like oversprays. I don't, I don't, I don't know. So I'm just going to focus on the gold light section down here. I'm going to pop that, oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. I'm going to pop that on the tops of the cheeks. I'm also going to take a touch down the nose. Cupid's bow and here on the forehead. You know, without that gold overspray, um, I'm realizing as I keep dipping my brush in, it's actually a super fine highlight. Uh, it looks beautiful. I really do like it best without the gold shimmer though. Like I'm looking at the different areas of my face. My nose highlight looks so much better than my cheek highlight. I just, I don't understand why brands put oversprays on things. I know it's like pretty and stuff, but it always annoys me. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of face powder. Contour turned out pretty good today but I'm just gonna sharpen it up a bit. Sometimes I put on the powder and I let it sit for a while, but um, this foundation I'm wearing, I tried out the Revlon Color Stay foundation today. I don't really know. It's kind of thick and like, I, I just don't know how I feel about it. It doesn't really lay well when you like rub um, the Kabuki brush into it. My cheek products seem to be sitting pretty well, but Anyways, that's why I'm just like setting that makeup now. I'm rambling. I'm actually going to go ahead and set my brows just using my favorite Milani brow gel. I'm also going to set off my whole face just using Urban Decay's All Nighter. So I thought I was really done with the eyes except mascara, but I think I'm actually going to add some of Max Costa Reach liner. Now I'm gonna curl those eyelashes. I was trying to decide whether or not to wear falsies today, but I think I'm actually just gonna do mascara. Gonna apply my favorite mascara, which is Tarte's Gifted. So when I take my dad and my brother to Florida, which is going to be in like two weeks, I basically get back from LA on June 1st, I think, and I leave again on a plane on the 4th. Um, and I'm going to go home for a few days, and then we're going to drive down to Florida. Then my bestie's wedding is actually on June 7th. So I've got kind of a full month planned already, and uh, we're not even, like, through May. I'm going to do another coat of mascara and just get those lashes nice and full. I love Tarte's Gifted Mascara, by the way. The sun is kind of starting to go away, but I didn't want to whip out my lights and completely change the color for this video, so I apologize if it's looking a little bit different. I cannot 
find my red lip liner. I haven't been able to find it for a while and I think I just need to buy a new one. So I'm just going to use the Milani Anti-Feathering Liner. This is clear and it will just help the lip liner or the lipstick rather stay on. Now I'm going to use the lipstick in Steam Heat and this is just a beautiful tomato red color. I cannot wait to put this on my mouth. Oh yeah. And to finish off, I'm just going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. So that's it, and I hope you guys liked the look. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and until next time, my loves, I will see you very soon. Bye.